and a few more examples that involve composite functions. Here we have the integral of the cosine of 6x dx. Well, the integral of cosine is sine, so let's try sine of 6x. And if this is correct, we should be able to take the derivative of this and get this. And this isn't hard to take the derivative of. We can do that in our heads. The derivative of sine of 6x would be cosine of 6x times 6 by the chain rule. So when we differentiate this, we don't get this. We get 6 times that. So we're off by a factor of 6. So we need to introduce a 1 sixth. And you could write it like that or like that. Either way is OK. But this will be 1 sixth sine 6x plus c. And now you can see that if you differentiate that, let's just do it real quick, the derivative of that would be 1 sixth times the derivative of this, that's cosine 6x, times the derivative of the inner function by the chain rule. So that would be times 6. And then you see these 6's canceling out, leaving us with cosine 6x, which is what we want. That's why we introduced that 1 sixth right there. So this is the answer. The next one, something similar happens here. The integral of 3x plus 2 to the fifth. Well, typically when we integrate, the power goes up by 1. So instead of 3x plus 2 to the fifth, I'm going to write 3x plus 2 to the sixth. And if this is correct, we should be able to differentiate, differentiate this and get that. So let's try differentiating that. When we differentiate this, we get 6 times 3x plus 2 to the fifth times the derivative of the inner function, which would be times 3. So we have a factor of 18 right here, which does not show up over there. So differentiating this doesn't quite give us this. It gives us 18 times that. We need to get rid of that factor of 18. So let's put in a 1 18th. And if we put in a 1 18th right here, that 1 18th would show up if we differentiate that. And that would all cancel out. And that works. The derivative of this is that. So the integral of that is this. And this next one. The integral of cosecant squared pi x dx. Well, what's the integral of cosecant squared? Well, you might remember that the cotangent function, if we take the derivative of the cotangent function, we get negative cosecant squared. So the derivative of the negative cotangent function would be cosecant squared. So let's try cotangent of pi x. Now again, if this were correct, we would be able to differentiate it and get that. So when we differentiate this, what do we get when we differentiate negative cotangent of pi x? Well, we get cosecant squared pi x times pi because we have to apply the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of the inner function there. So you can see what we get over here is in fact this, except we have this extra factor of pi right here. So to get rid of that, we need to divide by pi. And that's it. Oh, and we need a plus c here and, and up here in this one also. Plus c. And two more here. The integral of cosine cubed x sine x dx. This looks really hard. We've got a product here, and integrating a product product is pretty tricky, and we haven't covered that. So what can we do here? Well, one nice thing is I recognize that um, sine is the derivative, or, or the derivative of sine is cosine, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So these two functions are at least related to each other. And what happens if I put in a cosine to the fourth? See, that's cosine cubed. So what, what happens over, over here if I try saying the answer to this integral is cosine to the fourth x? Well, let's try differentiating this. And what do we get? The derivative of cosine to the fourth would be 4 cosine cubed x. That's just applying the power rule and then times the derivative of the, of the inner function. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine x. So it's times negative sine x. 
So this looks something like what we have over here. We have a cosine cubed x and a sine x. That's what we have over here, cosine cubed x and sine x. But we also have this factor of 4 and a factor of negative 1. So I just need to put in a factor of negative 1 fourth. And now if I differentiate this, I will get that. So that's the answer. And one more. The integral of 5x minus 9 squared dx. So let's try 5x minus 9 cubed. Okay, if we take the derivative of this, we want to end up with that. And so the derivative of this would be what? It would be 5x minus 9 squared times the derivative of the inner function times 5. Excuse me, that, that would be a 3 5x minus 9 squared. The power rule here applied to this. 3 5x minus 9 squared times the derivative of the inner function, which is 5. And so you see this factor of 15 that we need to compensate for. So we put a 1 15th. And that's it. The derivative of this is that. So this is the answer. And we need a plus c on both of those.